A Colorado congressman taking on the four most powerful tech companies in the world. Republican Ken Buck says Amazon, Apple, Facebook, and Google are monopolies that crush their competition. Buck has now penned a new book called Crush Big Tech's War on Free Speech. Political specialist Sean Boyd talked to Buck about it, joins us now. So, Sean, why did he decide to write this book? He is hoping we will do what Congress has failed to do, take action to protect our democracy from what Buck calls the tyranny of the monopolies, monopolies that he says use their immense power to unfairly eliminate competitors, stifle innovation, and censor speech. Congressman Ken Buck was cranky. It was cold. He was in liberal boulder and odd man out on the House Antitrust Subcommittee. I'm the only Republican. It's 19 degrees outside. I am not a happy camper. What's more, he knew the hearing about competition in the digital economy would be a complete waste of time. Because I know the answer is the free market. But as he sat in Boulder that day, listening to one company after another tell stories of threats, extortion, and retaliation by the nation's biggest tech companies, Buck, a free market-loving conservative, had an epiphany. Um, I realized there isn't a free market. And he knew if Congress didn't act, there never would be. He says Amazon, Google, Apple, and Facebook are monopolies, or what he calls modern-day robber barons. These companies crush their competition, and then they crush speech. Crushed, fittingly, the name of a new book by Buck, who is now leading the charge to break up the big tech monopolies, and he says level the playing field for all innovators. It's unbelievable that, that these companies get away with what they do. In his book, he tells how Apple copied a tracking device by the company Tile, then changed the iPhone's operating system so it wouldn't sync with Tile, buried permissions to enable the Tile app, and even ran ads that looked like Tile promotions but took customers to Apple's knockoff. And he says there are countless similar stories of the tech giants using their vast market power as a weapon. Well, there's a company called Proton Mail. Um, it's an encrypted email service. And when Proton Mail users sent mail to Gmail users, Gmail automatically put that in the spam folder. So they would punish people that weren't using Gmail. Big tech's unbridled power is not only a threat to the free market, he says, but free speech. The marketplace of ideas, Buck says, is now a gated community within the digital sphere. The business marketplace and the marketplace of ideas are intertwined. And you can't have a business marketplace without free speech. And they know exactly how to manipulate that speech. He says they not only use algorithms to bury speech they don't like, but even silence dissenting voices entirely. We know that uh, Facebook and Twitter took down the Hunter Biden story. And they took that story down because it would hurt Joe Biden two weeks later in the general election. You know, people that are listening are going to say, well, um, you know, good. I'm glad they, they censored the right, but I guarantee you the, the Republicans get in power and these companies decide they need some things from Republicans, they're going to censor on the left. Big tech also controls the marketplace of data, he says. Our data, what we type into a search engine, the sites we visit, posts we leave on social media, ads we click on, and purchases we make. And he says it's up to us to take control. Stop using these products as much as possible. Meanwhile, he spent the two years since that hearing in Boulder pushing antitrust legislation with help from another Coloradan, Democratic Congressman Joe Neguse. While big tech has managed to kill much of their legislation, they passed a set of bills that could lead to more antitrust cases. And Buck says they're not giving up. Sean, I absolutely have hope. I, I wouldn't do this job if I didn't have uh, uh, hope. And, and I can tell you that I, I believe the American people will stand up and demand some action in this area. And at the end of his book, Buck even has suggestions for those ready to take action. Search engines you can use instead of Google, places to shop other than Amazon, alternative music streaming apps, and social media options. He also recommends changing your settings to disable tracking and delete web activity. You know, Buck boycotts the big four as much as possible himself, but he is on Twitter and the, I, the phone that he was issued as a member of Congress. Right. It's an iPhone, you know, so it, just, it goes to show it is difficult to abstain altogether.